All right, KMR, welcome back to the channel that braps. So this should be fun. Today we're talking Apex Seals. We're gonna talk rotary engine myths. Basically that the Apex Seal is bad or fails or has some problem. So let's jump right into it. All right, so this comes about because good friend said, hey Kyle, you should cover rotary myths on your channel. And so I figured I'd start out with the Apex Seal. If you hop on the internet, if you buy an RX-7, if you tell your friend that's into cars, I bought an RX-7, the first thing that comes out of their mouth is Apex Seal. Why is that? How did we get to this point? Because your modern rotors, your modern two millimeter seals, um, especially some of the aftermarket ones, extremely reliable. The OEM ones, extremely reliable. There's really no Apex Seal problem. Um, anybody can blow up a motor if you try hard enough, but that does not mean inherently that there is any type of apex seal failure, problem, lifespan issue that we're really resolving at this point. The reality is we actually have a lot of aftermarket options now that have uh, eliminated some of those problematic areas and Mazda has further developed the apex seal in all of their later generations. Uh, the two millimeter steel apex seal pretty much just works fine, no issues. So how did we get to a point where everybody just thinks the Apex Seal is an issue? Well, like many myths, like many stories, there is some reality to how it all started. Early, and I'm talking early, pre-RX7, this is, this is RX stuff, first, second generation of Mazda's attempts at rotary engines in production form. Um, a lot of uniqueness to these rotors, I've talked about them, basically a twin side seal, six millimeter thick groove, um, and multi-staged pocket. You can see Mazda's got, come a long way with their designs as they got into the RX-7 generation. But right here, my understanding, this is the culprit. This is what gave Mazda the bad rap. This is why Mazda in general, when you talk RX-7 to uh, any car enthusiast out there, they think they have to say something about the Apex Seal. This is a carbon-based Apex Seal, and they did not have a long lifespan. Mazda was still working on the sealing, um, wearability, and overall uh, construction of their components. You can see a lot of stuff stayed similar. How the stationary gear is put in with roll pins, you know, down to one side seal, um, corner seals, everything was in development. But the technology wasn't quite refined. And these early Apex seals actually did have a very short lifespan. And after talking to some, some great rotary enthusiasts that know a lot of history, you know, the owner of Mazda Tricks, Racing Beat, some of the guys from Seven Stock, um, a lot of what it came down to was that Early, early rotary engines did not last long because the carbon metallic based apex seal would wear out or fail easily. So unfortunately, there is some reality to this myth. Um, and it's based on very early production versions of apex seals. Um, and I'm open to more information about this. If anybody can add more pieces to this puzzle, if there's something I'm missing, I'm I'm always happy to discuss further and look into more, but it really does make sense. You can even see in this rotor, um, this is obviously a bad rotor, but that carbon seal is obviously soft. And if you're familiar with the racing carbon seals um, that Mazda made um, available from Australia, available from Japan, we used to have them here in the US, they're a softer material designed to not last as long, but they were very functional. Um, and often used in racing. So the racing ones could have been derived from these early production parts, knowing that they'd have a lighter seal, doesn't last as long. Um, but that was not good for production. And that led to now a history of people assuming that the apex seal is a problem in a rotary engine. Um, when the reality is that by the time we got to any of the RX-7s, even your Repu trucks, later model Cosmos, these were all vehicles that were going 150, 200,000 miles without a rebuild, very adequate for the industry standard at the time, especially a small displacement motor. So Mazda's jump in technology 
um, creating a lighter, harder, stronger apex seal really is what led us to having such great performance, um, horsepower numbers, longevity. We can basically say that at this point, there is no apex seal issue between OEM parts and aftermarket apex seal technology. There's a good apex seal for almost every situation out there. And the apex seal is far from the thing that is just going to simply wear out or cause you a problem in your motor without some type of other extreme situation happening. Um, it's totally possible to break a motor. Anybody can do it, whether it's a piston motor or a rotary motor. Um, going into extreme driving habits, extreme conditions, or ignoring basic things like temperatures, fuel pressures, um, you know, you've got to monitor any motor. But I'm going to just wrap it up with saying, I guess there is some truth to it. The early uh, Apex Seals did have a bad rap, but uh, we're, we're many, many years away from that. And we can now say that there is no problem with rotary Apex Seals. And I think we're going to put a stamp on it and say that myth is just not correct anymore, but does have some history. So that's a wrap. If anybody else has uh, you know, things they want to cover or want me to add to this, let's do it. I'm out of here. KMR, back to work.